Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Productivity Open P1AM Industrial Arduino P1000 Expansion Thermocouple Module. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen you will actually see the website from Fax Engineering on the GitHub um, site that talks about the thermocouple temperature and voltage input module which is the P1-04THM and what it does it's four channel um, so we have four sensors coming in or analog inputs as as the name entails uh, we can have a J E K R S T B N and C type thermocouple input we can also have voltage ranges and these voltage ranges are in the millivolt uh, range. So it's 0 to 39.0625 millivolt, plus and minus 39.0625, plus and minus 78.125, and 0 to 156.25, and plus and minus 156.25 uh, volts, millivolts DC, or 0 to uh, 1250 millivolt DC. So those voltage ranges are also available, which will allow you to connect things like a strain gauge, etc. So if we look under the wiring of this, we look under the production data sheet, and that data sheet is right over here. And this gives you more information, detailed information about thermocouple input ranges, the resolution, uh, things like that. And what we'll do is go down here to the actual wiring, and let's just uh, blow that up a little bit here. So we have an internal circuitry, and we also have our thermocouple input type. So here's my thermocouple. We just have a plus and minus on our thermocouple, uh, ungrounded ones as well as grounded, and where to put that ground. And then our infrared thermometer, or thermocouple. Then we have our voltage input circuits. We have a, a four wire voltage transmitter. We have a load cell or strain gauge input. Then we have a voltage divider that we can actually go into this card with. So that is our um, wiring. So that's under the uh, data sheet of our P104THM card. Next, next, take, next, we will take a look at the configuration. And there's a couple ways we can config, configure this unit. If we are using C++ code directly, we can use the configuration tool that's located right here. And what we can say is if we want a burnout unit, we'll click this and we'll, we'll select the low side degree C temperature. And then what we'll do is we will select just one channel input and our range, we can select to any of these plus our voltages that we just did. So we're going to leave it as a J type thermocouple. This then um, creates this configuration file that has to go into our IDE, our Arduino IDE. So if we were to copy that or just hit copy configuration, then we can call up our IDE and we can paste this right into our setup. Okay. And that is how we then configure that channel or that uh, module on our Arduino IDE. Now, alternatively, we can also go into Proactivity Blocks. And I'll call that up. Here we go. And if we look under uh, P1 Module Config, we'll go into Configure the P1 04. And then we choose a slot. We can choose the channel. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do channel 1. We'll, lower, we'll put it in the Celsius. So temperature low side Celsius. And we have the J-type thermocouple. If we wanted uh, other ones, we would just select them here. So very simple to set up on Proactivity Blocks. And when we verify, it'll come back and give us that same configuration that we were looking at before. Now to actually read in, in, in Proactivity Blocks, we would actually use the uh, PIO. 
under here, and then we'll see read temperature. And we look at the slot, and we look at the point. And because this is a four channel, it'll be point one, two, three, or four to get that information in. So productivity blocks, and even though if we have voltage selected as our input, we're still gonna use the productivity block for read temperature to get that information into our controller. So let's take a look at um, our hardware now. And on our hardware, we'll just call this up. And you will see here that I have my P1AM uh, dash 100 productivity open unit. We have our, we've connected our P1 dash 04 THM thermocouple input card and we've connected a J-type thermocouple to the first input. And it's just a two wire. This is a un, uh, ungrounded thermocouple. And here is the end of it. So, and it's on slot number five. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So this is slot number five, and then we have our four channels, one, to four so and then as always we have our base LED light on here indicating that we have a power supply that's supplying 24 volts to the back plane of this uh, controller so now let's take a look at a sample program that we have here we go and you see here on our sample program we're using our productivity block so that's set to true then we set up our monitor so our serial monitor at 115,200 uh, baud, uh, 891, and it's going into our monitor port. Then we configure our P104THM, so slot number five, as we just discussed. We're using channel one only. We're taking the low side burnout, and we're gonna use the J-type thermocouple on it. Then through our loop, we're gonna set our double and our double is our read temperature. Um, it's slot number five, point number one, which gives us our thermocouple input read. And what we're gonna do is print this number to our monitor. And this will print it out to our serial monitor. And then we're gonna delay one second. Then we're gonna loop it back again and print out again. So that's basically what this program's gonna do is just show us the temperature every second as we go along. So what we do is we can just verify this code and it'll verify just fine. And once it's done, we will upload the code to our controller. And notice that we're using the double variable simply because when we're dealing with the analog or the analog input that we have, which is the thermocouple, we're in two decimal places for that thermocouple input probe. Now we'll call up our serial monitor. And right now you can see it's reading 25.03, 25, 11, 12, et cetera. And it keeps on scrolling on our screen. So if I take my thermocouple and we just hold it in the hand, we will see that temperature going up now and it matches the uh, temperature that we're reading. So we can go all the way up, you know, almost, to, it will go over to 30 degrees C. And there we go. And then when we let go, let's put that back down and we will actually see that slowly dropping down as the temperature drops. So you can see that the Setting up the uh, thermocouple module is very straightforward with our productivity blocks controller um, and productivity blocks and doing that to our P1AM industrial Arduino. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. 
A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.